Hi, this is going to be a basic tutorial on the PyMole software. So you can use PyMole to build a 3D structure of uh, a protein. This could be for your protein assignment or uh, just to look at the structure of your protein of interest. So we need to go to the PDB uh, protein data bank um, to have the four letter code of our protein. So we type in um, protein data bank and we click on this one, PDB. And uh, in the search bar, we type in uh, the protein of our interest. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the structure of the DNA polymerase. So I will go ahead and type in DNA polymerase. And there are different subunits of DNA polymerases that are involved in different functions. In this case, we will look at DNA polymerase alpha. Uh, which is involved in the initiation of DNA replication. So I will go ahead and type in DNA polymerase alpha. And I will click on the first one, the catalytic subunit. And it will uh, bring us um, many different structures of DNA polymerase and uh, from different organisms. So the first one is from yeast. And I'll just click on that one. Or I will use this uh, code, which is 4FVM in PyMol. And I will use it to uh, build the 3D structure of this DNA polymerase enzyme. So PyMol is already open in my computer. And I will go ahead and type in uh, 4FVM and PyMol search bar. So I have downloaded a equational PyMol software on my computer. It is free. And so in this uh, window here, I will type in fetch and then the code for the protein, which is 4FVM and press enter. And in another window here, it's going to open up the structure of the, the protein. Uh, so it will bring us the line structure or, or line representation of the protein, but we want to change it to a better representation for us to have a better view. Um, so this is um, the tab for the protein. If you click on it, it will disappear. And when you click on it again, it will um, show up. So if we go to uh, S, which stands for show. Um, so we can uh, choose many different representations of the protein. The cartoon representation is a very good representation uh, to use. So I will go ahead and use that one. This is uh, how it looks like in a cartoon representation. Um, we can see the alpha helices and uh, the beta sheets and the loops very well. We can hide the uh, line representation that was there before. So we go to Edge, which is uh, hide, and we want to hide the lines. And the red dots here are representation for water molecules, and we want to get rid of them as well uh, to have a better view at our protein. So we're going to hide the waters. And this is what we have now. And to look at the different secondary structures in this protein, the alpha helices, the beta sheets, and the loops, we can color them in different colors. So what we do is that we, we go to color. And then, so we can color by element, by chain, or uh, by chain is when, we, when you have more than one subunit in your protein. In this case, it is just one subunit, the alpha subunit, remember? So we, uh, we have green color for one subunit, but we can use this one uh, color by sequence. Um, so you can choose from this three colors here. I prefer the second option. It is not too bright compared to the other ones. So I will uh, uh, go ahead and click on that one. And this is what we get. So. The alpha helices are represented by cyan color, 
and the beta sheets are mag magenta color and the loops are represented by uh, brown brownish uh, color so that's what we have for different secondary structures uh, you can zoom uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, by clicking on your mouse and you can uh, move it around again by clicking on your, your mouse and if you want to have the color that we had before or if you want to color everything by uh, one color uh, we can go ahead and change the color again so we go to color and just choose from this color options I prefer uh, this one so I colored it like that and now I want to see the structure of this DNA polymerase in surface representation. So for that, we go to show. So show as a surface here. And it's going to take some time to uh, work on it. It is always a good idea to look at the surface structure of your protein because it will give you an idea uh, what your protein looks like uh, at the surface. So this is uh, what the DNA polymerase uh, from the yeast uh, uh, looks like. And it is pretty cool, I think. And if we want to uh, hide the surface and want to have the cartoon representation that we had earlier, we can go here and we can hide uh, the surface and we will have this uh, back. And now if we want to look at the sequence of our DNA polymerase, uh, what amino acids it is composed of, we can go uh, at the bottom here, S stands for uh, sequence, so amino acid residues. Uh, we click on it and it will bring us uh, the amino acid residues here. So if we want to see where this amino acid um, is in this DNA polymerase, we can go click on it. And so it is somewhere uh, around here, uh, we will find this amino acid. And we can uh, keep going to see uh, how many amino acids are in this structure. Um, it is quite a lot. Uh, so it is up to here. Our, the last one is at uh, 1226. 1226 is uh, this one here and plus 2 is 1228 so the last amino acid is arginine and as we can see it is over here so this is the c terminus of the uh, protein and this is the uh, n terminus of the protein so finally, I will show you how to represent uh, the amino acid that you want in a stick representation. So like to analyze the amino acid better, uh, you can represent it in a different uh, way. So for example, if we choose the first amino acid, the N terminus, and the last amino acid from the C terminus, we can represent uh, these amino acids by a stick representation. So it will be different from uh, the other amino acids because this is a cartoon representation. So let's go ahead and choose uh, the first amino acid, threonine. So when you select something here, it will be shown as a selection in this uh, tab here. You can name the selection as you want, so rename it. I want to rename it as uh, threonine, enter. And I want to show it as uh, a stick here, so choose sticks, and it will be shown as sticks, and it is over here if we want to zoom in. Uh, but it is the same color as the other amino acid, so we want to color it differently. And I will just uh, choose yellow, and so that is. Um, so this is the N-terminus amino acid of the DNA uh, polymerase uh, threonine. And if we want to do the same for arginine, the last amino acid, we go ahead and click on arginine, rename the, rename the selection. 
name it as arginine, enter, and show as six. And as we can see, uh, the C terminus is over here, and we want to color it, let's say, in magenta. And so it is over here. And this is how um, the arginine and stick representation looks like. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment down below if you want me to do more tutorial on Pymol. And don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.